What is up guys, Beast here and welcome back to another Smite Guide and let me first of all apologize for the last video where we butchered up Scylla's name and so moving forward we will learn how to pronounce names before the recording so you guys don't have to blow up the comment section. But thank you for all the feedback from the last video, you guys were super helpful in helping me to get a better grasp of this game and so in this video we will have another mage hailing from the realm of the rising sun, Raijin. Just like in our last video we will discuss the character's abilities, then go over the build that I use for the Master of Thunder and then we'll talk about notable strength and weaknesses. And we'll start with the passive ability charge tempo. For every five abilities cast, Raijin reduces the cooldown of all abilities currently on cooldown, including the one you just cast, by two seconds. Then we have his first ability, Percussive Storm. Raijin pounds his drums, sending forth a pillar of thunder in a line, then another, then two at once, each growing wider as it travels. The thunder deals magic damage to enemies it hits. And on for his next ability, Raiju. Raijin marks the target enemy by dismissing his ally Raju, who hides in the enemy's navel. It's kind of weird. While asleep, Raju slows and reveals the target to Raijin's team on the minimap. And the next time Raijin damages the target, Raju awakens and claws his way out. It's kind of awesome. Doubling the slow and damaging the target and also five nearby enemies every 0.5 seconds for two and a half seconds in his attempt to flee. Subsequent enemies hit take decreased damage. And on to his third ability, Thunder Crash. Rajin sends a bolt of lightning crashing down at his ground target location, damaging and mesmerizing enemies, while Rajin himself ascends into the sky. Shortly thereafter, he crashes down at the location, doing a second burst of damage to all enemies in the area. And also of note, Rajin becomes briefly untargetable while in the sky. And finally, we have his ult, the Tycho Drums. Rajin flies above the battlefield, beating his drum four times to summon Peals of Thunder. With each hit, he has a choice of three beats. Beat 1, 100% damage. Beat 2, a taunt and 30% damage. Beat 3, fear and 30% damage. And also, while in the air, Raijin suffers a 20% movement speed slow. Moving on to the build that I'm currently using, I start with Mage's Blessing, Shoes of Focus, 2 HP Potions, and a Mana Potion. Mage's Blessing, as we discussed in our last video, has a plus 25 bonus ability damage and plus 2 MP5 per 10% missing mana. And at 75 stacks, Mage's Blessing evolves, gaining an additional 10% cooldown reduction. Shoes of Focus gives plus 40 magical power, plus 250 mana, plus 10% cooldown reduction, and also an 18% movement speed. Our next item we go for is the Book of Thoth. And it gives us plus 100 magical power, plus 125 mana, and plus 15 MP5. Its passive ability states that you permanently gain 10 mana per stack and receive 5 stacks for a god kill and 1 stack for a minion kill, maxing out at 75 stacks. Additionally, 3% of your mana is converted to magical power. And for our penetration, we have Spear of Magus, which offers plus 65 magical power and plus 15 magical penetration. Its passive states that your damaging abilities reduce your target's magical protection by 10 for 5 seconds, maxing at 5 stacks. For the fourth item, we use Shaman's Ring, which gives us plus 100 magical power and plus 10% movement speed. The passive states that dealing 100 damage to enemy gods gives you a stack. At 50 stacks, Shaman's Ring evolves, gaining a new passive. The new passive makes your damaging abilities debuff enemies, causing them to take 10% additional damage from all your damage sources for five seconds. And for our fifth item, we use Soul Reaver, which gives us plus 130 magical power and plus 300 mana. And the passive states that when a god takes damage from your abilities, they take 10% of their maximum health and additional true damage. And this can occur only once every 40 seconds. And once we've gotten all of our items up to tier three, it's time to trade in our starter item, Mage's Blessing, and go for the last item on our build, Soul Gem, which gives us plus 65 magical power, plus 150 health, plus 12% magical lifesteal, and also the 10% cooldown reduction. The passive on this item states that on a successful hit of an ability, you gain one stack. At four stacks, your next ability that damages the enemy god will do a bonus damage equal to 30% of your magical power to each god hit, and will heal yourself and allies within 20 units for 40% of your magical power and we'll consume the four stacks. And now for the strengths and weaknesses. Uh, for strengths, Raijin, I feel like he he does massive damage. He's a high risk, high reward type character. Um, he can clear lanes. He get uh, do wave. He has a great wave clear. What he lacks is movement speed, and that's why you, the, most of the items you see me using for the build 
has movement speed and it's just to, to help make up for it because I know that when I first started playing with him I was going with the similar items as for Scylla and it just wasn't working out because I felt like I was too slow and then I, I couldn't get any god kills because if I did three quarter damage to them they would just run away so that's just my general thoughts on the build let me know what you guys think if we can get this video up to additional five likes just like our other video we'll go ahead and post more guides uh, last time I didn't think to do this, but now I will. Um, I'll post a poll on my Twitter page and I'll pin it down in the comment section below on who we should do next. Uh, for the third video, I already have someone picked because it was a tie on our poll. So we're going to do at Agni next. And then uh, for the fourth video, I'll have you guys vote. So thank you guys for coming out. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And my name is Beast of Ishtar, and we'll see you in the next one.